ancestors right. anymore. And, and, and that's a, a methodology that has been used across Africa, because right. contrary to what many people in the West think, Africa did not have a mat matriarchal that, society. That is absolutely It has a matriarchal, which means absolutely. the bloodline absolutely. is identified. See, they mad at me for saying that. Thank you for saying that. Oh, no, no, I understand <laughs> clearly. It has a matriarchal. It means like... I don't trace the bloodline through the man because Absolutely. I can assuredly know the bloodline by Absolutely. tracing it through the woman. But that didn't Absolutely. mean women rule because no. they did not. Africa you know, was that, not that, patriarchal. That, I love yes. Sheikh Antijo, mm -hmm. but unfortunately he was not pre precise enough in his language. Right. And that was a springboard for a lot of confusion a in lot of confusion. the conscious community because he declared Africa to be matriarchal, but and, he and met it matrilineal. Matrifocal. We like to call it matrilineal. Right. It wasn't matriarchal. Right. Because African the, matriarchy is right. a myth. Today, it is a myth. Today, even in the Ashanti nation, which is the best example people yes. like to make reference to, the because the queen system. mother right. uh, has. A, a, a role that one might misunderstand and presume to be dominant when Absolutely. it's not. Okay. Absolutely. And so let me just finish this because this, this is important in terms of the structure he's referencing in terms of Zulu masculinity. That same type of masculinity that the Zulu so profoundly express, you can see across the continent yes. and it's assaulted in the same way Absolutely. using religion, psychology Absolutely. and economics Absolutely. in order to attack the entire African The global continent. project of yes. unmanning the black yes. male from yes. one tip of Africa to the other all the way to India, the Isles of the Pacific, and yes. here in America. Well, the systems are the same. Unguarding, like Baba said. Unguarding the black let, man. Let me come yeah. back to Paul. The British systematically dismantled Zulu masculinity. Mm -hmm. The Zulu nation was undone because the British specifically undercut Zulu masculinity through religion, the Zulu man in the home, the pre-colonial Zulu man in the home, was Nkulunkulu. Mm. He was lord in the home. Mm. Pre-colonial Zulus were a patriarchal society. Southern cradle patriarchy, not northern cradle but, but. patriarchy. But see, you have in the conscious community in particular, sisters demonizing patriarchy. Mm -hmm. Well, the patriarchy of the Zulus at the root of it was the black god and the father in the home, in the Zulu home and in the Zulu crowd, the village. The father was Nkulu Nkulu. He was the Lord. And right. that's how society, but that was systematically undone by the right. British through economics and through religion. The woman was snatched by the church, mm -hmm. was deliberately snatched by the church and made the head of religion. And then the black man was systematically or socioeconomically disenfranchised. And so the Zulu woman is boss in the house now. She's the one that's over religion. The father is not calling on ancestors right. anymore. And, and, and that's a, a methodology that has been used across Africa, because right. contrary to what many people in the West think, Africa did not have a mat matriarchal that, society. That is absolutely It has a matriarchal, which means absolutely. the bloodline absolutely. is identified. See, they mad at me for saying that. Thank you for oh, saying that. Oh, no, I understand <laughs> clearly. It has a matriarchal. It means like... I don't trace the bloodline through the man because Absolutely. I can assuredly know the bloodline by Absolutely. tracing it through the woman. But that didn't Absolutely. mean women rule because no. they did not. Africa you know, was that, not that, patriarchal. That, that. I love yes. Sheikh Antijo, mm -hmm. but unfortunately he was not pre precise enough in his language. Right. And that was a springboard for a lot of confusion a in lot of confusion. the conscious community because he declared Africa to be matriarchal, but and, he and met matrilineal. Matrifocal. We like to call it matrilineal. Right. It wasn't matriarchal. Right. Because the, African matriarchy is right. a myth. Today, it is a myth. 